Hey everyone, this is going to be your May 23rd daily love reading. All right, it's general. It's not going to resonate with everyone and that's okay. If I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. All readings are done by donation and a donation is required in order to receive a reading. However, the amount is entirely up to you. All right, um, the information in the description box is basically step by step and I do it like that for a reason. It should be really easy to follow. Um, Again, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everyone. It's not necessarily sign specific. It's just a message for the day. If it resonates, cool. If not, cool. We will get to some more sign specific messages, um, possibly a little later. I did already start pulling cards, and as I was meditating on your energy, um, I was seeing teeth. Okay, they're not necessarily in someone's head, just teeth. Let's think about teeth for a minute. Teeth can often be, especially when pulled out, teeth can be a, um, they're a symbol of spirituality, they are, um, I don't want to say like, uh, what am I trying to say, not, not vanity, but definitely you, you're, you care about the way your teeth look, right? I mean, obviously if you're missing teeth, you're not going to be the most confident. Um, and so someone could be worried about the way that they look. Um, there could be a much deeper uh, spiritual connection here, which I am seeing, which we did see. We did see yesterday. Um, I've already laid some cards out. It does seem to be sort of this um, almost continuation of that energy. We chew with our teeth, right? What does it mean to meditate? It means to chew and chew and chew and chew and chew on something, right? Until we understand it, until we get all of those those nutrients out of it. Um, we're chewing on something. We're getting the full flavor. We're going over it and over it and over and over it, really trying to understand it. I'm, I'm actually seeing a cow. Do you know how a cow, it's got, what does it have, like two or three stomachs? I don't fucking know something like that um, <clears throat> and it chews on the grass and it chews and it chews and it chews and I even think it it comes up from one of the stomachs once it's been like partially digested or something correct me if I'm wrong I seem to remember this about a cow and they're showing me a cow that's constantly chewing so um, this is what I'm this is what I'm getting and it's like they get it comes back up and they chew and they chew and they chew some more so it's like you take it in, you process it, you bring it back up, you think about it, analyze it, chew on it, you know what I'm saying? And then you take it back in, bring it back up, chew on it, analyze it, get more nutrients, do you know what I'm saying? And and sort of go back over it again and again and again. And that's what I believe is happening here with self and in the area of love and relationship, um, which is going to be one and the same, right? It looks like um, in the past, in the recent past, it's like somebody wanting to take this leap and even half-ass taking this leap and sort of, um, hmm, understanding. And not even just understanding, but making peace with desires. Wanting something new something deeper something stronger in order to do that though having to release these fears having to go to the dark places having to become vulnerable you could be dealing with the pisces there's also a lot of air out here um <clears throat> there is gemini and libra out here specifically um as well There's a lot of letting go, a lot of letting go. And this is even the, um, you know, you've got the four swords out here, right? Even the meditation card. Um, and it's like, it's not over though. And it's like, this is coming out of the state of meditation and experiencing it, right? Putting it into action almost, I'm seeing, and like, what do I think? And then I'm gonna go back and see what putting that into action did for me and how I can um, chew on that some more, reanalyze it and, and go from there. This is what I'm getting. I'm seeing like um, coming out of this 
fear again going to those dark places and maybe releasing some of the responsibility and some of the baggage that was one, once put on um, I want to say self I want to say self um, things that have happened in the past that we were possibly blaming ourselves for or even blaming someone else for. And if you remember, we got the um, Empress yesterday, someone stepping into this Empress energy, someone even looking for their Empress, okay, and taking some of this responsibility off in order to manifest what we actually want, right? Stepping into the unknown, understanding that we don't have to understand everything, right? Um, the key is receiving the information is what I'm hearing. It's like just receive the information. We do have the Eight of Swords uh, and the Two of Wands in reverse. So again, it's like I don't and it's almost like I don't have to decide which way to go right now. Um, and it's it's really like, okay, I just walked through the gate. I've just broken down a lot of these um, belief systems and 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 mental blockages and holds up, hold, holds up, hold ups, hold ups, hold up now, whoa, hold up, slow it down now, whoa. <laughs> Interesting, um, and I think it's okay to take it slow. It's like. Receive the information, go with it, experience it, be in the moment, right? Come out of thinking about it so much, right? And then slow back down and go back into thinking about it. And not necessarily having to make a choice, especially not a, a, a quick choice, a rash decision. Um, I really feel like things are just kind of unfolding and it's like what it's almost like figuring out what is the goal here and what what exactly do I want to be engaged in now that I have this sort of um, new sense of freedom as far as my mindset is is concerned and, and how do I uh, communicate these new passions and this new um, way of being, possibly even a way of life and relationships um, within themselves, right? And how do I hold the energy of this Empress? Okay, it's, and you hear me say this a lot, it's not hard to necessarily get there, it's hard to stay there, or harder, which is harder to stay there than it is to get there. And there's a question of, I don't see this necessarily not being content. I, I'm, I'm really seeing this as someone is really um, figuring themselves out. And as I say that, this uh, two of, of pentacles falls down and, and in between my legs, right? The juggle and the struggle um, with this six of cups in reverse. These actually came out together, but um, as I was saying, like, trying to figure this out, the two of pentacles falls in between my legs. There could be someone here that has multiple options. I mean, we talked about that yesterday. Um, and there could also just be this sense of balancing um, uh, like your life path, right? With your soul path, soul journey. And also trying to bring someone in and still keep everything keeping it up. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's, I almost feel like someone is um, a little bit fearful. That they're not going to be able to um, hold on to this. Because there is something so intense happening, even if it is just self with self, it's, it's, it's bringing up a lot from the, from the past and even past lives. And it's like remembering who we truly are, who we've been where we've come from, how much we've learned. 
And it's sort of, again, this balancing act of what do I want, okay? What has worked and what hasn't worked before? Where have I been? Where do I come from? You know, you can't be stuck in the Six of Cups energy, but you also got to know where you came from to know where you're going. Just saying. And I feel like someone is a little bit almost, almost overwhelmed, okay? Which is why I think it's so important to take these energies in here and understand that it's, it's not about having to figure it out all right now right to just be able to take it in experience it chew on it swallow it be in the present moment see how that makes you feel take that experience chew on it do you know what i'm saying it's like this real in and out but but all the while still being fully present with the connection um, of you and whoever this person is, even if this is you and yourself, the love of yourself, okay? Um, and, and what are we engaging in and how does that make me feel and, and, and how does that feeling make me feel I'm hearing? I will say that this is absolutely manifested. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't an accident. Someone has been asking for this even if on if on an unconscious level. I will say that you already most likely know this person. Even if past life. There's a connection here, so yeah, yeah. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing the pyramids. Okay, so there is a deep, deep, um, consciousness connection like we don't even have to speak mm. yeah I'm seeing three pyramids and then they're turning from three and one like okay so there's three pyramids like this and then they turn and the one in the front comes to the one in the back and almost merges and then dances up on top so now you have the pyramids like this like mirroring and what I'm seeing is like this consciousness of three that has merged into two but one and it's almost like they're 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 in rewind if that makes sense because it's like when they dance and they come around and merge into the one that that I'm, I'm hearing the seed the seed so that's going to be the third energy the creation energy when these two people come together they create what they create a third energy the creation energy and that's where we're starting that's what they're showing me to start with they dance around and merge the seed merges back with okay that's why that pyramid is up that's why it merges with the one like this because the, the phallic symbol okay that's the seed and then dances up and mirrors the feminine, the masculine, as above, so below. Um, how fucking beautiful. Let me just stop and say that. How beautiful that is. Okay. But yes, this was absolutely, absolutely manifested and, and called in. Okay. So again, we have Gemini, we have Libra, we have Pisces. Um, I don't even necessarily feel like this is new love. But in a way, yes, because it's all new because there's so much um, transformation and manifestation and sort of like this level up energy going on. Mm. Wow, there's so much and I'm hearing like you make me weak, this person um, and it's almost like you make each other weak and in in doing so this vulnerable state that is happening between these two people is so transformative and so healing and I'm hearing for the masses this is for 
this is for the masses, which is possibly why this is coming out like this, why it may be just a little bit more difficult to figure out how to um, juggle this with life purpose, soul purpose, and then on this relationship level, like there's something so deeply profound going on. It's like, there's so much to offer here. It's not just one thing. It's not just one. It's not just sexual. It's not just sensual. It's not just uh, friends. It's not just partners. It's not just companions. It's there's so many levels to this connection. Wow. Um, wow. And it's written. It's written with this high priestess energy. And it's if not one, maybe both of these people are very in tune and intuitive by nature, even if not spiritual. They've dreamt of each other, or at least one person has dreamt of the other. before the connection actually happened, but, but not. Before the connection happened, but not. <laughs> because the connection has happened happened so long ago. Um, lifetimes, lifetimes. Before, they're saying before lifetimes. Before lifetimes. Before the human vessel. Fucking amazing. It looks like there still hasn't been a final decision made, but the focus is there. And it almost looks like there's not been a final decision made because they don't, it, there's, there's, a, there's an issue here with um, how to present it. How do I present this thing? Is this even real? It's almost like so deep and um, mystical and magical is it just my imagination could this even be real am I letting my imagination get away with itself like I don't know what it is but I definitely can't stop focusing on it but I I, I just don't know that I can invest everything into it. it it almost looks like this puts me on a natural course but it takes me off of the course I thought I was supposed to be on for some people. And this is why there's not been a final decision made. And it does seem like there still needs to um, be some healing here. Uh, maybe some things that need to be put to rest um, like once and for all. I'm hearing once and for all um, as that uh, Ten of Pentacles falls in between my legs. What's in between my legs? That's where the that's where the creation energy is going to come from. That's where the third energy is going to come from, um, and the two of pinnacles fell in between my legs earlier. The two that create the third. So interesting. Now while I was shuffling these cards, this one actually popped out, and I kept it. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay, allow nature to take its course. There's no reason, this is so natural. What is happening between these energies is so natural. I think that's why um, it's, it's not necessary to um, have to figure it all out right now. I think it's okay to just kind of let it ride and let it do what it's gonna do. Um, you know, it is written, it, it has been manifested um, and called in on purpose. Could be dealing with a Leo, I'm not sure if I already said that. 
Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And I remember yesterday um, talking about acceptance. I kept hearing acceptance. And that's the thing. It's like these people, like I said yesterday, they're evolving. They were already evolving on their own and now they come and evolve and heal together. And it's... um. It's, it's, it's so strange and so foreign and yet so natural and so beautiful. Life is a series of um, co constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. And that's kind of, I mean, look at, go with the flow, natural, go with the flow, natural, acceptance, seems to be an overall theme here splitting the deck with the page of swords definitely someone is thinking about the other here if not both and and also thinking about um, how to communicate this and and when to communicate this and who's going to communicate first is still coming in who's going to communicate first I don't think it really matters is this not just the most beautiful fucking energy <laughs> for a love reading like are you kidding me right now these actually um popped out of the deck all three um at the same time black panther sensuality and passion stir beneath a cloak of secrecy okay two cats here the walkers between worlds okay these people are able to connect on all, all uh, completely other dimensions and were connected on other dimensions before they even came here from what I was just told in the beginning, near the beginning of this reading. Okay, powerhouses, what am I telling you? Fucking powerhouses, look at that power. Look at that power, power couple. And that's what I'm here, like for the masses. This, this union comes together to create to spread this is not and i think that's why it may be all, also a little bit like this can't be real is this real because it comes to it's not just a personal thing between these two people yes it's so deeply intimate and personal absolutely but it's not just a, a personal thing it's 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 for everyone well you know it's for a lot of people we'll say it like that so, um, Black Panther, sensuality and passion stir beneath the cloak of secrecy. We actually got the Panther yesterday in a different deck. Okay. And I think what I'm, what I'm feeling with this is one person may not know that the other person is actually, um, as into them as they are. Because I'm getting a lot of like, whoa, hold up, slow it down now. Like, do I say it? Do I say it first? Like, I, I don't want to say it or you should just be able to feel it or I, I don't know I, I don't kind of want to say that it makes me feel a little awkward you should just know it's like this real spoken unspoken I said it now let's don't talk about it sort of energy I don't know but that's what I'm getting with this it's like you should know what's going on in here and under here without me saying it and it's funny because I feel like the other person actually does, even though they keep trying to talk them themselves out of that. Take it as it resonates. And then you get the lion. Banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends. Banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends. Interesting. I actually forgot that these cards flew out of the deck. So I sort of set them over here to the side because they didn't fly out on the... Um, like on where I was reading, they kind of flew out to the side, so I just put them over there, and I forgot um, that they flew out. So, yeah, and it is the Five of Cups in reverse with the Two of Swords. Um, and I love that I just looked over and saw that and remembered that when I saw the line, banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends, which was happening here. We're cutting out that lonely feeling. We're cutting out that, that, that someone may have been feeling or have felt isolated for a very long time or like no one has really seen me. No one has really seen me and now someone sees me. But more than that, we see each other. The way that we engage 
is something that shines light and reflects the way I'm not sure it ever has been before, at least for one of these people. No, for both of these people. For both of these people. Hmm. How interesting. And then um, the third one that flew out, but again, they, they flew out together, but in this order. Spider, travel will open up new possibilities and one special connection. Travel will open up new possibilities and one special connection. Now the spider is a, a part of the creation story, okay, for a lot of cultures. Um, I love that the it almost looks like an upside down skull on the back of this spider because y'all know my deal with skulls. If you follow me, you know that I think a skull is very transformative. I think it's beautiful. I think it's life and death. I think it's the psyche. There's so much that I adore about the human skull. Um, and no, it does not come from a deep, dark place, as many have stated on my channel. Um, I actually see it as a very beautiful symbol, and I love that it is what I see when I see the back of this spider that is creating this web, that is this creation, and the spider is the second most uh, sensitive creature on the planet to vibrations. I just, I love that I'm, like, this is such, um, and I'm, and I'm, it's, there's so much laughter, there's so much laughter, like, this is not just, that's what I'm saying, like, there's so much here of, like, it's friendly, it's sexy, it's funny, it's playful, it's serious, it's deep, it's light, it's heavy, it's, it's, everything that anyone could want and all at the right time because they just match you're saying they just match and they're showing me puzzle pieces like that just fit mm. stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance okay Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Uh, this may be an actual ex, but this may just be past energy. As I stated near the beginning of the reading, this may just be past energy that is um, that is being released. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Don't really feel like there's a need to elaborate on that. So let's get some of these cards. Um, we'll get a few and then we'll get a, a specific sign. Coming together. Coming together related to the Two of Cups. I mean, this is this is something very divine, um, and it's almost like decided before we come here. Okay, look at this. These come out together, strengthening bonds. I have a hair on me, and it is pissing me off. I can feel it every time I move my arm, but I can't find it. Okay, strengthening bonds. Uh, how interesting. Like, I can feel it every time I move, but I can't find it. Think about that for a minute because of what I'm saying. Like... But it'll come it'll come you can feel it you may not be able to pinpoint it right now you may not be able to find it there may never be words but you do feel it so stop trying to talk yourself out of it okay so strengthening bonds and feeling alone okay as we've gotten that um, that five of cups with that two of swords it's like we're cutting this alone feeling out by strengthening bonds okay we're looking to people that we love we're creating connections we're networking um, we're we're allowing ourselves to grow on the inside on and on the outside and it's like um, again it's it feels so foreign and yet so natural it's like someone is coming home and yet 
but they never really left. Seek the truth. Balance. And if you see here, um, there's the two consciousness and the third energy, the third person that's opening up with balance. That is almost what I saw with the three pyramids that sort of like twisted and the seed went back into the one, the one in the front came back to the back and then danced up so that they were mirroring each other exactly, which is related to the temperance balance as above, so below. Fucking beautiful. Okay, challenging times and healing begins shoot out together. As I stated, this is, and we got the five of swords yesterday. It's related to the five of air. Um, this challenging times, this inner conflict. Like I said, I don't believe it's like necessarily confrontation um, on the outside. However, I do believe this may be a little bit of inner conflict and, and, and difficult for... Um, I'm sorry, five, that's five That's five of uh, wands. Um, but I do believe it's, it's difficult for these people to allow themselves to be fully immersed in this because, like I said, it is so surreal is coming to mind, okay? But this is where the healing begins, and it's not just one person being healed here. This is definitely two people um, being healed through this energy. Dedicated effort, working on something. Look at the, that beautiful mural um, that he's working on, and you see how big it is. Look at look at that. Look at how big it is. Something for everyone to see, for everyone to enjoy. It's something for the masses. Look at the size of that. Like you can only imagine how big that. Uh, just piece of that building is right so how many people would gather in this building and for what but you have to imagine it's for the masses and look at the the size of that mural so it's it's something being created with much dedicated effort and working towards something that's absolutely going to benefit so many involved here okay and then we're getting rest and reconsider um, as I stated, it's like being present in the full, being fully present in the moment, and then going back in and analyzing and 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 rechewing and chewing and chewing and and going around and saying, okay, how does this make me feel? How does this make me feel? With um, manifest coming over it, okay, the magician coming over it, love, 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 love. Okay, so let's see if we can get some specific signs. This reading is already kind of long. Sorry, it is what it is. Um, the moon, the moon, all right, so cancer could also be something happening by the full moon, um, or the new moon. So pay attention and take it as it resonates for you. No, it's it's definitely cancer. <laughs> and um, cancer, it could even be something that happens specifically for you by the new moon or the uh, full moon or your moon um, in cancer. That is That does look to be a full moon there. So maybe um, something happening for someone by the full moon in Cancer or in Cancer season because I don't know that we're going to have a full moon um, in Cancer. And then Sagittarius and Aries popping out together here. Okay, so let's see what we can get from that and then we'll do water signs all together. All right. So first, let's 
We'll do um, the moon in Cancer popping right out the Wheel of Fortune. I absolutely love it. Um, cycles ending, cycles beginning, karmic karmic debt paid for. You know, it's when you get through that karmic shit is when you start to manifest, when you release all of this unnecessary bullshit, shut the door behind you, and that's when you really start to manifest and take leaps forward um, in your journey, both um, on an, an earth 3D level as well as a spiritual level, especially when it comes to love and repair the heart baby three of swords popping out in the reverse position right next to the ace of cups in the previous spread I absolutely love it there's so much fucking love and transformation going on um, right now and then the Sun coming out I mean could it be any more beautiful okay card for Leo cancer you may be dealing with the Leo it could just be um, happiness and that that sort of youthful innocence but definitely some sort of a rebirth some turning of a cycle some turning of an event healing of the heart releasing of old baggage and betrayal all right shutting the door and leaving it shut now on to Sagittarius and Aries first card coming out is the hermit it is coming in reverse someone could be um, sort of resisting uh, a journey maybe their light isn't shining currently or maybe it's not shining as bright as it should be okay perhaps someone doesn't want to be single anymore okay also a uh, card for Virgo all right but definitely yeah maybe someone doesn't want to be single anymore because they are letting down their wall okay and this is Sagittarius and Aries okay letting go of inner conflict letting go of inner conflict letting down their wall putting down the stick not having to fight anymore something you know being these energies right here look here they have a tendency to be pretty rough pretty forward and um gung-ho is coming to mind they're not the softest energies you know what i mean not a bad thing they're just a bit more aggressive and coming like this, there's something so soft coming over these energies, Sagittarius and Aries, okay? And, and vulnerable. Temperance coming out. This is almost really looks like the masculine and the feminine balancing okay card for Sagittarius coming out to define Sagittarius card for Libra coming out now it is in reverse why is the justice in reverse perhaps someone is righting the wrongs um, righting the injustices that they have done okay could be dealing with the Capricorn but you have um, you know Saturn and Jupiter in between Venus I mean Venus in between Saturn and Jupiter okay so take it as it resonates but I'm really feeling like um, this this balance of the masculine and the feminine that maybe was hurt or abused or something ha has happened in the past that didn't actually allow this to uh, fruit there's some sort of injustice or something that someone maybe has been holding on to I'm getting a real like victim mentality in the past but now it's like it's just die let all of that go and be honest here and and bring things back into balance and right the wrongs and 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 cut the cords or or cuff them if you want them I'm hearing Beyonce um, put a ring on it the hierophant in the reverse position okay so it could be someone coming out of a marriage realizing that the marriage doesn't work I mean because this does signify divorce uh, someone may be wanting to take a different approach to marriage altogether um, a different approach maybe not even a conventional divorce perhaps just a separation but there does seem to be some things that need to be worked out here um, and it does it is actually to me looking very beautiful because it leaves someone in a vulnerable state um, really exploring both the masculine and feminine side of things this yin and this yang and softening of this like hardcore gung-ho energy so um, if allowed Sagittarius and Aries this energy could really really be um, a huge pivotal point and learning experience that could bring you into some serious balance um, 
it, it could be a really beautiful thing but if you're going to be hard-headed i could see it turning very sour very quick and almost leaving you more uh rough or worse off than you were before you started sort of thing okay that card is face down so i'm going to leave it Okay, it did fall on the floor, but it is face down. So now let's move on to water signs in general. Okay, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. With the Four of Pentacles coming out, okay, you could be coming into money. Not necessarily getting greed yet, but I am seeing something is pretty valuable where someone wants to hold on to it very tightly. Okay, nope, they said I was going to pull it, and they said no. Okay, here it is. The Chariot card for Cancer is coming through. Come through, Cancer, which we're, we are, are we in Gemini season? But I, if we're not, we are in a day or two. Um, and then, and then Cancer. So it's, it, are we about to have a moon in Cancer or something? Because I'm, like, there's a lot of Cancerian energy surrounding everyone right now. So interesting. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, someone wants to hold on to whatever this is whatever this relationship is this connection is it's like i'm holding on to it with dear life and i'm going forward okay and you know that the sphinxes for me is a very spiritual uh, symbolism if you've been following me for any length of time um and the chariot itself is spiritual uh to me in nature and moving forward in in all realms in all areas but holding on to this holding on to this for what it is and what it's worth and it does seem to be worth quite a lot otherwise i mean look at that he's guarding his guy i've got it on my head i've got it under my feet i've got it on my heart he's actually holding it against his heart and it seems very valuable to him i'm not getting greed but then you know what is greed and is it okay to be greedy sometimes maybe the hanged man shooting out um, like almost kind of underneath the stove, which I find very interesting because this is so important to someone. It's almost like someone taking a different perspective on um, how hot things are. They've recognized how hot <laughs> this is moving forward opportunity for what though opportunity to recognize the heat someone is very turned on sexually but emotionally as well queen of swords coming out more air water could be dealing with an air sign and the nine of cups six of swords it's interesting because the six of swords is is um going toward the four of coins And the Queen of Swords, I'm getting like, and then boom, you have the Five of Wands coming in the reverse position. Like, I'm not going to fight about it. I'm just going to cut it away. What I don't want, I'm cutting away. What I want, I'll keep. Like, it's just really that simple. But I'm not going to hold my tongue anymore. I don't want to hold my tongue anymore. Um, why? I know what I want. I want what I want. I'm going to hold on to what I want. Especially because it seems to be heating up in this new way that it's being looked at and even experienced I love it. I absolutely love it. So that's what I have for you all. I love you very much and I will see you next time.